Odysseus now calls forth the maids who have betrayed his household and by associating with the suitors. He orders them to clean up the house and dispose of the dead. Telemachus then pays the suitors by hanging them in the courtyard. Ursula tells Penelope about the return of Odysseus and the defeat of the suitors. The faithful wife, the perfect maid for wily Odysseus, suspects a trick from the gods. She decides to test the stranger who claims to be her husband. Crossing the door sill at once, she sat down at the, in the firelight against the nearest wall, across the room from Lord Odysseus. There, leaning against the pillar, sat the man and never lifted up his eyes, but only waited for what his wife would say, and then she had seen him. And she, for a long time, sat deathly still in wonderment, for sometimes as she gazed, she found him, yes, dearly, like, like her husband, but sometimes bloody and rags were all she saw. Telemachus's voice came in her ears. Mother, cruel mother, do you feel nothing drawing yourself apart in this way from fathers? Will you not sit with him and talk and question him? What other woman could remain so cold? Who shuns her lord and he come back to her from wars and wandering? After twenty years, your heart is made of flint and never changes. I am stunned, child. I cannot speak to him. I cannot question him. I cannot keep my eyes upon his face. If he is really Odysseus, Truly home, beyond all doubt, we too shall know each other better than you or anyone. There are secret signs we know, we too. A smile came down the lips of the patient hero Odysseus, who then turned to Telemachus and said, Peace! Let your mother test me at her leisure. Before long, she will know, see and know who I am. These tatters and dirt all that I'm caked in now. Make her look hard at me and see not who I am. Odysseus orders Telemachus, the swineherd, and the coward to bathe and put on fresh clothes. Great-hearted Odysseus, at home last, was being bathed now by your Nomi and rubbed with gold and oil and clothed again with a fresh tunic and cloak. Athena lent him beauty head to foot. She made him taller and massive too, with the crisping hair and curls like the petal hyacinth, but all red golden. Think of gold infused on silver by a craftsman whose fine art Hephaestus taught him or Athena, one whose work moves to delight. Just as she lavished beauty over Odysseus' head and shoulders, he sat then in the same chair by the pillar, facing his silent wife. Strange woman! The mortals of Olympus made you hard, harder than any. Who else in the world would keep aloof as you do from her husband if he returned to her from years of trouble, cast on his own land in the twentieth year? Nurse! Make up a bed for me to sleep on. Her heart is iron in her breast. Yes, sir. Strange man, if man you are. This is no pride on my part, nor scorn for you. Not even wonder merely. I know so well how you, how he, appeared boarding the ship for Troy. But all the same, make up his bed, Ursilia. Place it outside the bedchamber, my lord built with his own hands. Pile the bed with fleece, rugs, and sheets made of the purest linen. Yes, ma'am. With this, she tried to him the breaking point. He turned her in a flash, raging. Women, by heaven, you've stung me now! Who dared to move my bed? No builder had the skill for that. Unless a god came down to turn the trick, no mortal in his best days could budget without a crowbar. There is a pact, this is our pact and pledge, our secret sign built into that bed. My handiwork and no one else's. An old trunk of olive grew like a pillar onto the building plot, and I laid our bedroom round that tree. 
line up the stone walls and roof, gave it a doorway and smooth fitting doors, then I looped off the silvery leaves and branches. Hewed and shaped the stump from the roots into the bedpost, drilled it, let it serve as a model for the rest. I planned them all, and laid them all with silver, gold, and ivory, and stretched a bed between. A pliant web of oxide thongs dyed crimson. There's our sign. I know no more. Could someone else's hand have sewn that trunk and dragged it, the frame away? Their secret, as she heard it told, her knees grew tremulous and weak. Her heart failed her, with eyes brimming tears. She ran to him, throwing her arms around his neck and kissing him, murmuring. Do not rage at me, Odysseus. No one ever matched your caution. Think what differently the gods gave. They denied us life together in our prime and following years. Kept us from crossing into age together. Forgive me. Don't be angry. I could not welcome you with love on sight. I armed myself long ago against the frauds of men. Imposters who might come, and all those many whose underhanded ways bring evil on. But here and now, what sign could be so clear as this of our own bed? No other man has ever laid eyes on it. Only my own slave, Actorus, that my father sent me as a gift. She kept our door. You, you make my stiff heart know that I am yours. Oh, Penelope! <laughs> <laughs> Now from the breast into his eyes the ache of longing mounted, and he wept at last, his dear wife clear and faithful in his arms, longing for him as the sun-warmed earth is longed for by the swimmer spent in a rough water where his ship went down under Poseidon's blows, gale winds, and tons of sea. Few men can keep alive under the big surf to crawl clotted with brine on kindly beaches in joy. Enjoy knowing the abyss behind. And so she too rejoiced. She gazed upon her husband and white arms around his like forever. So you need to ride to Times Square tonight, but you don't have a cab? No problem. I think this limos from Olympus is the answer. You can call us at 1-800-LIMOS-FROM-OLYMPUS or go to limosfromolympus.com. Hi, I'm Athena, owner of Athena's Olive Branch, where we sell all things olive. We have olive lotions, olive sprays, olive candles, and much, much more. Come to Athena's Olive Branch, located in Athens, Greece. For more information, go to www.athenasolivebranch.com. Hi, I'm Persephone from Seeds of Hope, returning lost children before the seasons change. Just when you thought your children were lost forever, Seeds of Hope steps in. Oh, there you are! I thought I'd lost you forever! Seeds of Hope is located in Hayes Creek, Washington, and we can be so reached at 1-800-UNDERWORLD. Yay! <laughs> Between a plant web of oxide thongs died. <laughs> All those many who, whose underhanded ways bring evil on. <laughs> Woman, the are we filming? <laughs> <laughs> 